Hello everyone and psh, psh, welcome to Shiny Chats. Now this will be a slightly different video than what I've done in the past because you're seeing my face right now but most of this video will be a speed paint of my John Ken Wow 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 inspired painting. But I wanted to start it off with me a little bit more cash than usual just to introduce the video today. So as you guys know, Shiny Chats is a video series where I just talk about shiny in whatever capacity I feel like for that day, whether top songs, top moments, unboxings, music video reactions, anything related to shiny, I will do at some point. So if that is something that's interesting to you, please consider subscribing down below. I would really appreciate it. Before we get into the painting part of this video, I also just wanted to talk about today's sponsor for this video, me. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram or anywhere else, you might see that I am an artist and I sell on Etsy and I have sell at artist alleys and conventions and I am trying to think of different ways that I can add to sort of my like revenue stream and different ways to make this like a viable job for me. So I have opened up a Kofi membership. So this is a monthly subscription service that you can apply to. Currently I have three membership tiers available for you to choose from. The first one is $1 a month and that is just pure chip jar, which is exactly what it sounds like. If you are somebody who wants to get more behind the scenes content and more kind of extra added content and bonuses, you could subscribe to the Dream Squad. Woot woot. That will include anything you can think of behind the scenes content related. So I'll upload high resolution images of my art. There will be extra like blog posts related to different things that I'm doing, like the artist alley conventions or cosplay or K-pop or travel, kind of anything that you can think of there. I'm going to be doing price breakdowns for costs versus profits for the artist alleys that I do this year. And I'm planning on going to Japan and Korea this year. I'll talk a little bit about that later. And I will be including a price breakdown of how expensive this trip is and what things cost for this trip. So if you're looking to maybe travel to Japan or Korea, this could be something that could help you out. I will probably end up doing live streams and giveaways on here. I'm kind of open to doing any kind of extra content in this tier. So if that's something that's interesting to you, the Dream Squad tier is for you. And then if you're somebody who wants all of that content, all the behind the scenes content, but you also really like stickers and you want something to be sent to your house every month, you can join my sticker club. Every single month, I will be designing one to two stickers depending on what I feel like and those will be sent off to you every single month. These stickers will not be available in my regular Etsy shop or in-person events, so this will be exclusively for the sticker club online, and every month I will give the members of that club a chance to vote on what types of stickers they would like, whether the subject matter or, you know, the design, so that it'll be sort of something that you actually would like to have. You'll also get a little handwritten note from me, and it'll be like a fun little extra goodie that you can get every single month, and that is $6 a month. So if any of those are of interest to you, you can find the link to that in my description. Uh, if you're somebody who doesn't want to subscribe monthly, that's completely fine, <laughs> I understand. There is also an option on Kofi to do a one-time donation of buying me a coffee, which will actually be used for my coffee addiction. I would really appreciate it. Of course, there's no obligation to do this. I will still be uploading content here, probably twice a week. So even just liking the videos, commenting, makes me feel so warm and happy. And I'm just giving you guys hopefully another way to support me if you would like. Since I'm just starting it up for February, I designed February stickers on my own and hopefully there's something that you like, but they are these two doggo stickers. So we have the smiling Yorkie pup, which is based on my sweet dog, Bella. And then we have, let me do it for you. Borzoi. <laughs> so if these are two stickers, you will get both of those stickers mailed to you at the end of February if you subscribe to the sticker tier within February. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, link is down below. Now let's get into the actual art portion of the video. So like I mentioned before, this is a gouache painting of Zhang Hyun inspired by their song Wow 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 or Oh Wow Wow from their Lucifer album, which I mentioned in my top 10 underrated b-sides is one of my favorite songs of all time. It just gives me all the warmth and happiness ever. So I really wanted to do a painting that was heavily inspired by this art. 
and I thought it would be kind of fun to do one painting a month based on a different shiny song and then at the end of the 12 months make a calendar out of all that art for 2024 and I think that would be really fun. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I could upload it uh, digitally or have physical copies but I think that that would be really fun so we're starting off with this one. The background of this image I wanted it to kind of look like fall because I really like those like warm like reds and yellows and oranges but I didn't want to make it super detailed so I kind of did, did abstract like blobs to be the fall background and then for Zhang Hyun himself you'll see when I start painting him I made a lot of like yellow highlights to kind of again give that warmth and I put like dreamy eyes like I gave him more glittery eyes to kind of make it look like oh he's looking at his love that's sort of my thought process behind this image um, and I might talk a little bit more about it as we go along but the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the fact that I know I've mentioned in some other videos but I have booked my trip to Japan and Korea for later on this year. I'm going at the end of May to kind of mid-June and I'm so excited. I booked my flights so as long as travel doesn't shut down again I will be able to go. This is a trip I was supposed to take in 2020 but very clearly I did not take this trip in 2020 and I've kind of just been waiting until it felt like okay to travel and Japan has opened up their borders so I feel like to, now is my time. And the reason that I chose to go at the end of May is because I will be in Korea for Shiny's 15 year anniversary which is the only thing that I've ever wanted in my life <laughs> is to be in Korea for their anniversary. So I will do anything to get tickets to this anniversary fan meet that they haven't announced yet but I've also decided for myself that even if I don't get tickets, although it will crush me, I think that there will still be shiny related things for me to do in Korea. Maybe a cup sleeve event if I can find one or going to like the Kwanghya store, like there'll be something shiny related to do. So I'm, oh my god, I'm just, I'm so excited. Taemin will be back and in 15 years, ah, I'm so excited. And my second favorite boy group, Boyfriend, they've rebranded to BF since they came back. Their anniversary is May 26th. So I'll be in Korea for their anniversary as well. It's the day after Shinies, which would be the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. If I could see my two favorite groups back to back. <gasps> um, of course, none of that has been announced yet. So who knows? But like, I'm ready if it's there. And then I'm planning on flying from Seoul to Osaka and then spending a few days in Osaka, a few days in Kyoto, and then a few days in Tokyo. I haven't decided exactly what days I'm leaving for those, but I want to just have a little taste of each place and I'm gonna decide I'm gonna go to the Disney parks I'm gonna go to Universal Studios again I haven't booked tickets for those but that's my plans at least and I have like a whole list of stuff that I want to try and do but I do want to have time to just like walk around and explore so I'm not gonna pack my schedule too heavily but I just have a list of things of like if I could do everything this is everything that I'd want to do if you guys have any suggestions for things that you think I should do while I'm there leave them down below. I would love to add to my list and then see how much I can get done. I've been saving for about a year, I would say at this point, um, because I knew that I was gonna need quite a bit of money for this because I'm going alone. This will be a solo trip. So I'm not sharing a hotel with anybody and I'm not sharing like food costs, like it's all on me, which means that I have to make sure that I have enough money to, you know, be able to get around and like do it comfortably and I want to be able to like do the things that I want to do without having to worry too too much about cost so I've been you know saving any any extra dollar that I can um which really has sucked recently because my job has really not given me enough shifts to like pay rent so that's super fun so haha if you'd like to subscribe to my coffee memberships I'd really appreciate it but um, I will make as much content as I possibly can about this trip because it's like a video diary for me. I will really want to look back, but also I think it'll be really cool for other people to see how you can travel alone, you know, for that long. Because I don't know anybody in either country, so I'm not even meeting up with friends. I don't know, I don't know one, but I think it'll be fun. I've traveled alone before, but for conventions and for concerts, which is much different than traveling for like an actual like exploring vacation. Because normally I sit in the hotel room, I go to the concert, I sit in the hotel room and then I go home. So this will be a little bit of a different vacation, but I'm really, really excited. And I'm going for three weeks, which is a really long time, <laughs> but yeah, but I'm pumped. Fun. And if I can get, yeah, tickets to Chinese anniversary, that'll be the best thing that's ever happened to me. 
Um, as in the art, as you can see, I was referencing a, this, a photo of John Ken where he had this sort of style of hair and I decided to make his eyes not as dark as like I know they are. I think in the photo he might have been wearing colored contacts, but I really wanted them to have that kind of golden edge to them again to kind of bring the warmth into this image. And you can see I made his sweater. Um, I tried my best to replicate the shiny color with the gouache that I have. And I tried to make it like fuzzy. So again, it's like the warmth of that whole thing. Hopefully that came across. Um, I am actually pretty happy with how this whole thing turned out. It turned out just about exactly how I expected. You can also see here that I'm using pencil crayons to do the like eye details and the other details. I thought about using liners or like pen, but I was worried that it would look too harsh because I really didn't want harsh outlines on this thing. So I decided to use pencil crayons and I think that was the right decision. It definitely just gives it a softer, kind of more blended look, I guess. And I think that, yeah, it ends up working out really nicely. I also use like a gold pen to add some like shiny details. And then when I show the very final image, you'll see the, um, I wrote a quote on the side of the painting, but I didn't do that on camera because my writing's really messy and that was very stressful. But yeah, I, um, I think it looks really cool in the sunlight. The prints won't look as cool as that, but I think it, it adds a nice fun thing. Now we get the very fun, here's some ASMR of me peeling the tape off as like the most satisfying part of the painting. Oh yeah. So satisfying. It makes all of the messy painting worth it. Ooh, look at that, such crisp lines. Prints of this painting are available on my Etsy currently. Um, you can get them in five by seven or eight by 10, along with all my other shiny paintings. They're always available in my Etsy. I will be uploading this as a high resolution image on uh, my coffee membership for the Dream Squad or above memberships tiers and you can use it for like phone laptop backgrounds or whatever you would like in that case so i hope that you guys enjoy this image hopefully you like it let me know if you like this kind of style of like just me talking while some art is playing in the background i'm trying to just trying out different styles here i know that speed paints aren't the most exciting but hopefully that this one was okay um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Friday for probably the next shiny chats video. <laughs> Bye!